It's for the uh, mental and mega mods. Oh yeah, I've seen that. That does look it's a bit, bit mod. strange. Really good. The only problem with it is hilarious. Is because there's no tool tips in Red Alert, so they, they they don't just have they don't just have one faction like an added faction. They actually have multiple sub factions, three sub factions for each of the existing factions. So you got the the United States like allies, you got the European allies, you got the Pacific allies, you've got the the Russian Soviets, you've got the Chinese Soviets. Yeah. You get the idea. And the phone as well, they've added a whole new faction, then they've got three sub factions. So it took me multiple games and going back and forth from the website and wiki basically to the game to figure what every unit does. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no tutors, you're like, what does what the hell does this do? I have yeah. no idea. It's not too bad with the existing factions. If of course you've played Red Alert 2, you know like mostly I know what that does mm -hmm. roughly. But with the um, yeah, with, with the new phone, like, it's, what the hell is this? And they have a lot of weird stuff, like, they have a, um, it's really cool, they have an ability where you, most of the, the infantry units you have, you can upgrade using nanites and basically transform them. But, like, it's a, it's a cooldown stuff, so you can, like, like ah, I want to, you know, transform these units or those, yeah. etc. It doesn't just buff them, it changes what they no. do. That's very complicated. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of really fun stuff with that, though. Like, they've got they're one of the factions... Uh... Let's see if I can get the right track for them, actually. Actually, this is actually the main theme for them. But, um... One faction of, of theirs is basically like all about, uh, kind of... It's more than it's meant to be a turtle faction. They have these mammoth tanks, basically, with rail guns, and they have an ability... Which when you activate, all of the, the tanks will disseminate nanites, which, which heal all the units. <laughs> <laughs> They're very slow, though. They're very, very slow. Like, you think a juggernaut is slow in ashes? These things are even slower. They're very slow to move across the map, and they're not that hard to take out, really. But suffice to say, if you use them right, it's like it's this rolling wall of death, and they keep healing themselves, all the units with them as well. As long as you could support that, of course, because the building does cost, you know, yeah. resources. They have a lot of crazy stuff. Um, what am I? I think it's also with the phone. Yeah, I think it's also with the phone. One of the things, because they all have, all of the sub factions have a unique hero, but with one of the phone ones, they have basically two heroes. One, uh, basically, it's, it's um, uh, what's the name, Finn, something like that, but basically, like, it's, it's a brother and sister team. One of them has, like, a, I think it's a sh shotgun that can take out any infantry, pretty much. The other one is a sniper rifle that's anti-tank, like, a rifle, but it can only attack tanks, right, you know, next stuff. Uh, but the thing is, though, if they're in proximity to each other, they basically give each other a huge regeneration stat buff. So, like, as long as you keep them together, they can tank a lot of damage. And just keep healing each other. So you separate them, one of them dies, like, it's, oh, the, yeah. that's it, <laughs> they're gonna die. I did watch a <laughs> video of one of the Mental Omega games. I have to admit, I have no idea what on earth was going on in that. <laughs> it, was yeah. just, it just looked mental. It is... I mean, it is... It, well, that's the point, isn't it? <laughs> it is, um... It does suffer from the fact that Red Alert 2 is such an old game at this point, that it's not like... Quality of life stuff, which is there, like some tool tips, uh, a couple of waypoints, um, very difficult to macro some stuff mm -hmm. as well. But Quantum they do a lot of like start. they do keep in pretty well with the Red Alert 2 kind of theme of just this wackiness, which is yeah. fun. Yeah, this is the main theme of the phone faction. It's all original for the mod. We need more logistics. There's so much complexity as well, though. Like, because you can capture enemy uh, production, you can then get unique like combos of units, which only appear if you have captured certain enemy mm -hmm. tech. So there's a lot of variation. We 
we need more logistics. Most hilarious thing in the game, though, has got to be the Europeans. Because the Europeans have... What I like to call the, um... The ultimate Protoss <laughs> bullshit. Because Protoss, of course, everyone hates... Terran Zerg, but the, the actual faction I like playing as. Just a move, it's wonderful. But... Everyone gets annoyed with like, oh, like it's storms, it's prisms, it's proxy, uh, uh, pylons, etc. Like the warp upgrade. stuff, like this is so annoying. The Europeans in Metal Omega have something which is simply incredible. Uh, basically, they have a structure which allows them to chrono shift, you know, teleport basically yep. in, in Metal Omega. Structures. And so, what you can do is you can creep across with turrets. <laughs> You can just keep teleporting your turrets across the enemy, like, yes! <laughs> it's so OP, they had to nerf it so they could only build one of these, like, warp <laughs> workshops once. Actually, no, I, th I think the other allies you get as well. The Europeans just have added, like, defense structures and stuff. Like, you get, um, like, laser fences and stuff, etc. It's like, you can just keep creeping across with this, just steps. your own base defenses. Just keep moving. Wow. Just keep redeploying the MCV. You know, and redeploy the warp, warp workshop, and then you can keep conscious and teleport your turrets closer to him. Crazy. <laughs> it's such bullshit. <laughs> we need that in Ashes. We need teleporting just I mean, more of them. Like, we just have to teleport all these structures across the map. I love stuff like that. Then of course there's the uh yeah, more foreign stuff as well, like um They uh <laughs> Well There's a lot of stuff about them which is interesting, but um Is it's the best is probably something called a sweeper. The sweepers are so ridiculous because, especially if you play the the bashing ones with the tech, with the super super attacks, this is some to as well. Um, because what you can do with them, you can actually just like uh, use an ability to summon them anywhere in the map. And the sweepers are such an annoying thing because they basically camouflage right away. And then they just keep poking out and killing everything. <laughs> Basically, what they do—they're they're, just there's a permanent ambush. Like they're they're like a mixture between an uh, between an ambush skirmisher yep. and artillery, and you can summon them anywhere in the map if you play Bastion. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just drop a couple directly on an enemy's uh, uh, mineral line. Well, no, it's a mineral line, but you know where they're harvesting, and just just completely decimate the eco. Uh, the most annoying thing with fun probably is the fact that they have a structure which basically acts a bit like in Spoon Commander where you can nullify enemy super weapons. Right, yeah. Which is not something which is normally in Red Alert. Uh, oh, I also forgot, they also have a structure um, which basically, I believe it, you get resources from fallen enemies. Quantum they have like nanos which eat them. That's fun. <laughs> Uh, the Soviets have fun stuff as well, though. Like the, the Soviets have, I think, I think it's way back in like it's based on like little. There was a mission pack about basically a cyborg Soviet yeah. soldier, and they added him and his dog. <laughs> I forget his dog now. His name's Vostov or something. But his dog's amazing because his dog is like a terror drone mixed with an attack dog. If you understand Red Alert Two, you understand how terrifying that is. It goes around eating people and tanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dog just jumping from target to target. It's wow. amazing. He's the best boy. He's the best boy in the game, easily, <laughs> by far. Uh, they also have they also have a um, for the Chinese. They have a huge mech. It could be one of them, which stomps around, and you can put this. And the hero is a little girl. With basically a sh a like a uh, an earthquake weapon, yeah. and you can put you can yeah, and you can mount it into the giant mech. <laughs> that is a fun <laughs> time. 
Oh, I don't want to play with Mental Omega like about that now. It is, it is cool though, a lot of cool stuff for doing that. But it's just it's such a very old game, but it's so heavily modded, I'm surprised it's doing all that. All they need is the uh, the mod and the, some of the original game files. Yeah. Looks fine. Wow. Youth Force is also some pretty insane stuff, of course. Um, I think one of the heroes is basically meant to be Yuri's lover. And she tosses tanks around. She's a bit like Yuki, uh, Yuki or whatever. Um, the middle right, of the yeah. But kind of better. Hmm. Oh yeah, the, the allies, the Europeans as well, in particular, yeah. they have a system called the Thor Gunship. The Thor Gunship is a gunship that summons lightning, <laughs> if it wasn't obvious. <laughs> and it's it's similar to the, it's similar to the, the super tank, because it's very slow, but anything that comes in close to it, basically can kill almost anything. Right, nice. It's fun. It's fun. It's mainly used defensively, really, but you're able to keep across the map with them. It's a very close range weapon, really, but like it, it does a lot of damage over time. Uh, each side, I believe, it's a unique super weapon of some kind of as well. Uh, I'm trying to remember what they are. Oh yeah, the I think all of the allies have the ability to like have a back warp. So basically, they use the chrono technology to uh, instantly heal units. So any any damage units take, slap the chrono uh, like back warp on them, and it just basically heals right. them. Nice. Uh, but uh, the Americans also have like a a laser satellite, the Mercury. And uh, oh yeah, the, the 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 specific union, which is basically the Japanese, but be the allies in in the east, in in Japan, Korea, etc. Uh, and basically, they have um, Australia, I guess, sort of. Uh, and basically, they have uh, Kunotech and not Kunotech, uh, Cryotech, and lots of robots as well. <laughs> so the other thing is like they have sort of mechs. They have a guy. They have a guy called Hero. H I R O, who is oh, literally God. just in like a anime like mech windsuit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hero. Oh yeah, I forgot the, the European hero because well, the American one is called Tanya. The European one is Siegfried. Basically, is a bit like a Colonel Engineer on crack. He has a a Colonel weapon that just basically just eats anything. I think he attack air though, so that's a weakness. But yeah, the the Pacific Union distance. forces they have a lot of like fire techs they can feed stuff and strong artillery. Oh, I'm trying to remember all of them now. Like, but the problem is, there's a lot of stuff there, so they have to kind of like learn it through mm -hmm. the website. Very difficult to pick it up in game. Not impossible, but difficult. Quantum upgrade installed.
quantum upgrade installed. Logistics. Quantum upgrade installed. Dreadnought detected. Hmm. Not enough metal. We need more logistics. We need more logistics. logistics. Mmm, <laughs> <coughs> this cold is leaving me. Um, someone just posted a, um, Illustration of Romeo and Juliet, with uh, Juliet saying, It's over, Romeo, I have the hand. It's what? It's over, Romeo, I have the hand. Oh, come on. My favourite meme of the EA uh, Battlefront 2 disaster was definitely, uh, It's too late, Anakin, I've already pre-ordered the uh, that, yeah. <laughs> <I'm> DLC. <laughs> You underestimate way more. Did I should craft their own overtimes? <laughs> If you guys want, we can do one more game. This will probably be the last one for me. Mm. 
I, I kind of get the feeling of that, like people are a bit tired today. Mm. I think it's the weather. Yeah, I like a vitamin D. <laughs> I've genuinely had a, th this cough for like two weeks now, <coughs> so mm, not ideal. Quantum upgrade installed. Oh, Marcus quit has been destroyed. or crashed. <laughs> You might have crashed. crashed. You did have problems, didn't you? Not oh. enough metal. You might have crashed, you said. Enemy Nexus has been destroyed. Oh, well done. Alright. Uh, thanks for hosting, Skillum.